ready to, right? Amen. We're going to sing this morning. Amen. Guide me over, old great Jehovah. Peer them through this barren land. Guide me over, old great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land. Guide me over. Touch each one one by one and name by name, Heavenly Father. Lift us up where we might have been weak, Heavenly Father. That's restoring us a clean spirit this morning, Heavenly Father. 
There may be somebody that's going through something that they need to hear from you this morning, Heavenly yes, Father. Sir. That's touching with your finger of love this morning, Thank Heavenly Jesus. Father. Because we know you got all power yeah, in your hands, yeah, Heavenly yeah. Father. We know if we put our faith and trust in you, you will not ever let us down, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you for being so powerful and strong in our lives, Heavenly Father. Help us for keep on keeping on each day in the day out, Heavenly Father. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sometimes we just can't thank you enough this morning, Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, Lord. Because you are a good God and worthy to be praised, Heavenly Father. Yes, sir. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And once we've done all we can down here, Heavenly Father, give us a home somewhere in your kingdom where we can praise your name each yes. and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Try Jesus. Oh, he's all right. Try Jesus. Oh, he's all right. Try Jesus, Lord, he's all right. You know that I done tried, man. He's all right. Try Jesus, he's all right. He's all right, he's all right, ain't he all right, he's all right, ain't God all right, he's all right, ain't he all right, he's all right, now have you tried him, he's all right, ain't he all right, he's all right, he'll be a mother, he's all right. When your mother left, he's all right. He'll be your father, he's all right. When your father left, he's all right. Now try Jesus, oh, oh, oh. he's all right. Trying to turn under these some humble thanks for all the many blessings yeah. that you have already stored upon us. Yeah. Listen at the songwriter said, try Jesus. He all right. All right. Already tried him. Right. I know he all right. Yeah. I found him to be a doctor in a sick room. He's all right, y'all. Bread. 
on the table. He's all right. Shout the over our head, yo. He's all right. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus, for just being all right. We didn't come leaning on our own understanding, but he said in all our ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. We leaning on him, depending on him. Just glad to be in his presence this morning. He's been good to us. He looked over my folks and supplied my needs. Uh, yes, sir. I have to say thank you. Thank you. Every time I turn around, another blessing. Thank yeah. you for being so good. Yes, sir. You know what we all stand in need of? Bless, Lord. Show up and show out. Yes, sir. Bless us all, Lord. We, mm -hmm. we need you right now. Yes, sir. Lord, we just want to say thank you thank for being you. one in the number. Thank you. You've been good, Lord. You've been good. You can say, I can say you've been good. I can say you've been good. Yeah, you've been good. Oh, you've been good, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Before I say it, the better I feel. Thank you. You've been you, good, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Continue to bless the service like we know you can. Show up and show out. Let your Holy Spirit fall fresh on all of us. Yeah. While we can lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. I even heard him say, if I be yes, lifted sir. up. If I be lifted up. I draw all men under yes. me. He's worthy, y'all. To be praised. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus on the mainland. Tell him what you want. Well, Jesus is on the mainland. Tell him what you want with Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want with Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want with Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want with Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you are. Oh, I call him a friend. Tell him what you are. If you need salvation, tell him what you are. If you need salvation, tell him what you are. If you need salvation, tell him what you want. Oh, I call him a friend. Tell him. What you want, yeah. call him up, yeah, call, call him, him up. up, tell him what you want, yeah. call him up, call him up, call him up. tell him what you want, yeah. call him up, call him up, tell him what you want, oh, call him up and tell him what you want, yeah. if you need the Holy Ghost, you ought to tell, tell him what you want. Well, if you need the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. Yeah, if you need the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. Oh, oh, call him a phantom. What you want? Well, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Well, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Yeah, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up. Yeah, call him up and tell him what you want. Well, call him up. Call him up and tell him what you want. Yeah, call him up. Yeah, call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Yeah, Jesus is on the main line. Y'all tell him what you want. Yeah, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Yeah, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, 
Now if you need the Holy Ghost, you need to tell him what you want. If you need the Holy Ghost, you need to tell him what you want. Well, then if you need the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. All you got to do is call, call him up and tell him what you want. Well, Jesus is on the mainland. Tell him what you want. Well, yeah. Jesus is on the main line. All you got to do is call him up. Tell you one thing about that. When you call him, you ain't got to worry about the line being busy or nothing. He's a di you got a direct line to Jesus. All you got to do is know him. You got to know him to call him. Amen. Amen. We want to thank everybody for sharing in the devotion. And... Right now, okay, well, we're going to turn it into the hands of whoever. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, y'all. You can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Bible said, let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Amen. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Well, give him some praise. Put your hands together for the choir. This is honoring, I believe, the senior choir, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, come on, come on. Senior Choir. Normally in October, on first Sunday, we have our anniversary. But the Voices of Inspiration decided they wanted to do something for the Senior Choir, so they got me down here for the day. <laughs> so we're going to have fun. Check one, two. Ask you 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to do this in honor and in memory of uh, New Belton Senior Choir. Uh, it's usually, usually the first Sunday in October, but we kind of forgot. But we, wanna, uh, we want all of our remaining Senior Choir members to stand. Miss Eloise, Miss Irene, Miss Glenda, Deacon Charles, Deacon, uh, I'm going call you Deacon Mick. <laughs> You you okay, Miss Glenna? You ain't got to stand. We 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 see you here, uh, Deacon Washington. Y'all y'all give our, our remaining uh, senior choir members a hand. And we want to light this candle in memories of of the ones that's gone on. I I can't call all the names, but ain't Judiel, ain't Ella. Uh, Miss Betty Jo, Miss Deborah, Mama, Miss Emma, Aunt Sarah, uh, Faye, Miss Dorothy. Well, all of them ain't on the picture. Are they? It was all of them in the oh, girl, I can't see that. Mar and Marjorie Emma, she's a member, but uh, she's she's home and she can't really uh, get out. But we, this is if you look at Marjorie, this is in honor of you also. Uh, I can't see that, but uh, we're going to do a, a, a moment of silence for our members that's going on. Thank you. And these are some of the senior choir uh, songs that we're singing this morning. Miss oh, yeah. oh, Eloise, this is for you. Tell me who built the ark. Oh, no. Tell me who built the ark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me who built the yard. Oh, 
I tell you, when a song like that came on back in the day, everybody be sliding everywhere, Deacon Tally. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Oh, they be sliding everywhere and rocking back and forth. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right. Good morning, good morning. good morning. And how is everyone today? Good. And good morning to those of you that are watching us live. God is good. And all the time. Oh, what a great day to be in the service. One more time. And let's give a voice of Beth applaud. Amen. For thanking. The senior choir decided to celebrate them because we are all in this together, amen? And we should all be with one accord, not on the cord, but with one accord, praising the Lord. All the things he has done. And they said, going up yonder to be with the Lord. And I tell you, Sister Tamika, I heard you sung before, but it seemed like you were feeling that. You knew what you were singing about. <laughs> and, and she hot up there. That, that, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. When you, when you start singing praises to the Lord, you're going to get hot. Come on. Jeremiah says, like fire. All right, all right, amen, amen. It's so good to see each and every one of you today. And it's nobody but the Lord, his grace and his mercy. Now we're going to have Minister Weldon to come with our morning scripture, amen? And those of you that are able to stand, stand. If you're not able, then we understand. Maybe next time. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, I read the scripture say um, something to uh, Evangelist Houston. Um, she's been presiding faithfully, you know, and I want to, but when I do, Moving back and forth and, and that, it's, it's just too much for me. I don't have the body strength for that. You know, I, I, do, I have some issues, but I know God got me. I know God got me. And I just want to say thank you to her. Amen. Um, we're going to Psalms 37. Psalms 37. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you. You want me to go ahead? Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thy envious against them that work unrighteousness. For they should soon be cut down like the grass and wither as a green herb. Trust in Jehovah and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight thyself also in Jehovah, and he will give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto Jehovah. Trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Weldon, for um, the scripture. Amen? Amen. Because how many need the word? Yeah. Nothing like the word of God. And, and because that's what's going to keep us. That's our guide. That's our instruction. And if you 
want to know what to do about anything, just pick up the book. Amen. Just look in the word. Ms. Elvis, I want to sing this song, but for a second, I kind of forgot the words. But I try. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Everybody, victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Happiness, oh, happiness is mine. Happiness is mine. Happiness today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Oh, joy today is mine. Oh, when I rose this morning, I didn't have no doubt. I knew that the Lord would bring me out. Well, I fell on my knees. I said, Lord, help me, please. Oh, got up shouting, victory. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Mine. 
Victory today. All right. Victory is mine. Peace, love, happiness. Can I get this? And I'll make three. Say, victory is mine. All right, all right. Amen, amen. I believe y'all want to have just a little bit of church. How many want? Well, we are having church. <laughs> Not that we feel like it or going to. We are having church. Amen. Now we're going to uh, receive our, well, and after the announcements, we will receive our tithe and offering. Amen. Amen. Everybody look good in their pink. But if you don't have pink, you still look good. Amen? And let me make that clear. I don't want you to think that just because you don't look good, you still look good. Amen? Pastor Houston, and happy birthday, Pastor Houston. He said he looked good for 72. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what he said. All right. All right. <laughs> to uh, Pastor Houston and Sister Houston, our deacons, our mothers, our friends, our church family, our announcements for today. We've got two community announcements. Um, Friendship Baptist Church, dear church family, on Sunday, October the 23rd, 2022, we, we will be celebrating our 166th church anniversary. We would like to invite you to come and help us celebrate on this glorious day. Reverend Dr. Timothy Carruthers of Sanctuary Fellowship Baptist Church, Detroit, Michigan, will be preaching during the morning service at 11 a.m. Since we are celebrating 166 years, we are encouraging everyone to dress up like we used to for church service. So women, get your beautiful hats out of the closet. And men, put on your dapper attire so that we can celebrate this anniversary in style. We look forward to a wonderful day of fellowship. This is truly a day that the Lord has made, and we will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. May the Lord continue to bless each one of you. Thanks in advance for your continued support. Sincerely, Sister Frankie Wheeler. Uh, it is with great joy and thankfulness and God's answers prayer and God's answer to prayer that St. Luke Baptist Church invites you to attend the service of installation of Harry Lamar Daniel II as senior pastor. Please join us for the installation service on Sunday, November the 6th, 2022. Dinner will be served at 2, services at 3. I taught him. <laughs> so God is good. And I'm not 72. 53, but not 72. <laughs> All right, today, y'all look good in your pink, and I thank everybody for pinking out. Um, we're going to have our annual chili and soup uh, cook-off. We're going to start at 2. I got tickets, uh, $6. You can come in and eat all the chili and soup you want. Brother Tally said he got it in the bag. Go ahead and give him the blue ribbon. <laughs> That's what he told me this morning. Uh, don't forget that October is our scholarship fund month. Uh, Sister Clara has given out bottles, jars. Y'all get those filled up for our scholarship fund. 
On October the 30th, the youth are sponsoring a box retreat after service that day. Uh, we need to decorate our boxes, and we're going to put them in. Are we going to put them outside, or are we going to put them in the um, fellowship room? In the fellowship room. Sister Tammy here, I got our box. Working Women in Action are going to. I got our box, so we're going to get it decorated up. Uh, to our youth, don't forget there's activity folders out front um, for you to pick up and work on. Be in prayer for the uh, Gamble family. Uh, Brother Terry's home go going service will be October the 29th at 11 a.m. here at the church. Also be in prayer for the King and Price family. We lost Mother Betty this past week. Arrangements are going to be announced later. Uh, the next joint deacon trustee meeting will be November the 2nd at 6 p.m. Our church next church conference is November the 5th at 6 p.m. That's all I'm going to announce today. Um, I am going to take a moment to um, recognize or honor our breast cancer survivor. In January, I will do a program for all of the other cancers. I know there's a lot of them, but October is specifically designated for breast cancer. And we do have two survivors here that I know of. Yeah. If I don't call your name, it's because I did not know. So don't get mad at me. If you don't tell me, I don't know, okay? But in January, I'm gonna do a Sunday where we recognize all of the other cancer survivors and um, awareness that we have here at New Bethel. You got something you want to say? Good evening again. I stand as a proud mother, but I thank God most of all. Um, you know, we never know what our kids are going to do in life, but we just thank God for everything that they do and that they keep them. Every day I'm saying, Lord, put your angels around them. Protect them. Don't let nothing hurt or harm come to them. And on Friday, we will be celebrating, celebrating my daughter's white coat ceremony. So, uh, so we're going to leave early at about 6.30 in the morning or to get there because it takes two hours. But... I thank God because some days she do two hours down there and two hours back. And, you know, so she's made it this far and to get that white coat. And I just thank him for him because, I mean, and I thank her for being my daughter. But I thank God most of all that he's been so good to us. And I continue to ask them to be good because we still got a year and a half with the internship in order to complete it. So thank you. Does anybody else have another announcement? I'm trying to wait on Sister Sharon. I'm working on the mill. So, uh, Sister Welding, 
Okay. Um, Sister Irene and Sister Glenda Davis, we have a little something for you. They are our two. Breast cancer survivor. Amen. I have one for a brother Bobby. You want me to? But he's not here. He's yes. Breast cancer survivor. Amen. And then in the back, there will be a candle uh, lit throughout our cookout um, in honor of Sister Minister Carla Stroud. She's a uh, she was a breast cancer survivor, too, and I miss my friend. Y'all have a good week. Amen. Amen, amen. Keep the announcements in mind. Amen. And uh, now we'll receive our tithe and offering. As the deacons come and the ushers, everyone standing, please, and the, de the ushers will um, direct you. And the choir is going to give us another selection. Amen. <coughs>
one more time. We are sharing. That's one of my favorite songs. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Voice of Bethel. I remember when I first heard it, when we came here for the very first time, and I heard that song. <coughs> and I went back, I said this before, I went back to the church I was going to, Deacon Tally, and I sung it. <laughs> Boys of Bethel, I probably didn't sing it like they did. But since they didn't know the song, they figured I did all right. <laughs> Amen. I'm so glad that I can put a smile on someone's face. Amen. Because that's what we're supposed to do, put a smile on someone's face. Thank you, choir, again for that selection. Now it's time for the word. The grass withered, and the flowers, they are going to fade. But the word of God, it shall stand and last forever. Amen? Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? And I know that the pastor is ready. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know. A pray before he preaches. Okay. Um, we have a um, praise dance before he preaches, but just point towards him and say, Pastor Houston, Pastor Houston preach, the preach the word. Pastor Houston, Pastor Houston preach, the preach the word in the name. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now put your hands together. Uh, telephony, telephony. Uh, Y'all got a quick telephone. Let the glory of the Lord. Oh, we got one. Okay. No music. We're gonna sing a little bit of this song till they get ready. Y'all put your hands together. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Say it with me. Bless the Lord with me. And bless the Lord with me. Come bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands with 
and me. Put them hands together. Clap your hands with me. Come on, come on and clap your hands with me. Everybody in the building. Clap your hands with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do your dance with me. Everybody in the building do your dance with me. Come on, come on and do your dance with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. are not because their spirit is wrong, but it's because the past has left a hole in their soul. May this wisdom help you get over your past and remind you that God wants to heal the hole in your soul. I have my sister Leandria here. She's going to help me share this wisdom and tell this story. Cause all I seem to do is hurt me Cause 
Reach up and tell somebody, this is my exodus. Tell them I'm coming out. Come on, tell somebody I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Hallelujah. We give honor to God today for... Whew. The song said, the presence of the Lord is here. I can what? Feel it in the atmosphere. We give honor to God today for his presence in honor of uh, breast cancer awareness, breast cancer survivors to... uh, 
ministerial staff, Evangelist Houston, Minister Weldon, Evangelist Pace. Praise God. We thank God for all our deacons, mothers, saints, and friends. God is good. And all the time. Praise God. Amen. When the Spirit of the Lord is present, you just have to let God do what he's going to do. Thank you, sister. Was well, she not in here, man? She there she back. There she back. I got out of the black back in the peak. Amen. Thank you, sister Pat. To our ushers and to the choir. Amen. I I got to say this. Thank you for thinking of the senior choir. Amen. And honoring them. Amen. That's. Uh, Sometimes I think we forget about our senior citizens. And yes, everybody said that youth is the church of tomorrow, but there could be no youth without any seniors. So let's go to the word. I'm going to try to be brief so y'all can get back there and give me my blue ribbon. Ah, uh, y'all, let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> let it go. If you have your Bible, open your Bible with me to Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 10. While you are searching the scripture, uh, I want to say to some people that was a little confused last week and thought I was sick. I wasn't sick. I didn't pass out because I was needing to go to the hospital. I was under the uh, anointing of God. Amen. It was the spirit of the Lord upon yes. me. Yes. I felt it before I, I, I tried not to even get back up here. So I wasn't sick, but thank you for your concern. Thank you for Sister Clara go. She was she was on she was on point. She was on point. If I was sick, Amen. I had the right people around me. I had prayer warriors and somebody that had stethoscope and finger on them on one finger and blood pressure on the other one. If I was, if I was, a, but let me tell you something. If I'm gonna die, let me let me die right there. Oh, no, that, no, that's no. best 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 place to go. I just have to, y'all have to get Sister Weldon out of here first. Yeah. Take her on out first, cause. Do it in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians chapter two, verse ten. For we are His workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. That's enough. That's enough. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Look at somebody and tell somebody, I'm under construction. Under construction. Most, most construction zones are not places of peace and contentment. They are chaotic, dangerous, messed up places, dangerous places, and oftentimes unslightly Positions that causes trouble, trips, and falls. Construction zones have lots of bumps 
lane changes, starts and stops, backup and delays, falling hazards, and they are just flat out dirty, noisy, disorganized, confused, and hectic. Sound like somebody's life? However, if you were to talk to an architect, an architect could tell you the situation is only temporary. It's got to get messed up to get fixed up. An architect can say, what you calling messy is beautiful to me. Because in order for him to get it the way he got to get it, he got to mess it up. So it is in our lives. In, God, in order for God to get most of us, all of us, where he want us to be, sometimes he got to mess you up. He got to mess you up. Amen. Your mind sometimes seems like you don't know what you're going to come in. Come on. Because the architect knew if I can finish the project, what it looks like now <laughs> is what the song said. I don't look like what I've been through. Why don't you look at somebody and tell them, don't judge the book by looking at the cover. Oh, that's some good stuff in here. Yeah. All right. You just got to know that a construction zone is just a work in progress. Truthfully, we are all in process of progress. I'm going to try to take my time and give this away. God gave me because he dealt with me this week in a mighty way. Right. Amen. And it's time now that we get ourselves fixed up the way God wants us. Come on somebody. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go to the, to, the, to the car lot to buy a car right. or you looking on the website looking for a car you're looking for that certain car that fits your wants. Your desires, your likes. Women, when you're searching the magazine and looking for a dress, you're looking for a dress that fits your body. Come on. You know if you a little chunky, you, a pencil dress ain't going to fit you. Come on. You, you, know, you know if you, you're skinny, you don't want no sack. You're looking for that dress that situates you. So God is looking for us something that accentuates him. He wants his personality to come out in you. So in order to get there, he got to take you through a construction process. Going through a construction process is not always easy. Let me read the definition of construction. The process of putting something together. Building something for the purpose of something else. People build houses to live in. Store to shop at. Stadium to have sporting events in. But when God starts a construction, he's doing it for his glory. I wrote a song some years ago that said, I want the Lord to be pleased with my life and to get all the glory that he's due. I want him to know I left the old man behind me. And the new man is determined to go through. So if I got, I'm in under construction and I'm in the progress of being processed to what God would have me to be, I got to understand that I can't let everybody work on me. Y'all hear me? 
If, if I got to hear eight, I'm not going to a toe special. I'm not going to a bone surgeon if I got a toothache. They got dentists that went to school to learn how to pull your teeth. Come on. Doctors got, they got urologists, uh, gastronologists, cardiologists, rheumatologists. Come on, somebody. All of these different types of doctors specialize in the field they work in. So if I want God to construct me for the field he want me to work in, I got to get in the right place. That he can fix me the right way. Uh, you know, anybody ever went to a, 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 a shade tree mechanic? And he, he, he said, he said, I got it. I got you. I got you it fixed up just right. All you got to do is pay me and go on down the road. Get about a mile down the road and the same problem that you took it to him for. You paid him for. It's still there. That's why they call him shade tree mechanic. If we got that much sense. Why do we take our spiritual problems to unspiritual people? Y'all ain't hearing me. Yeah. Why do I take my spiritual dilemma to somebody that don't know how to help me solve them? The story was told about four men got together and they said they're going to want to go on a fishing trip. Sitting out on the water in the boat, and they start talking, Brother Bruce, and, and, and one of them say, you know, we all got some problems. Say, so let's just tell our problem. One of them say, yeah, I got a gambling problem. Say, late at night, I jump up out of bed, and I got to go buy me some tickets and do a little gambling because I got a gambling problem. Other them say, well, I got a lying problem. I can't help, but I just got to lie. I just got to lie. Other them say, I got an eating problem. I just eat all the time. He wasn't just sat there and said nothing. He said, what's your problem? He ain't said nothing. He said, come on, we're going to tell our problem. He said, well, I didn't want to tell y'all, but I got a gossiping problem. I can't help but to get up out of here. And I got to go tell everything wrong with y'all. You see, you got to be careful who you tell your problem to. Because everybody not equipped to work on you. But the other song said, he is still working on me. Make me what I ought to be. Yeah, yeah. I'll be through in a little bit. Michelangelo once asked, was asked what he was trying to create as he chipped away at a shapeless rock. Michelangelo says, I'm liberating an angel from this stone. Think about that. He said, I'm liberating an angel from this stone. In every one of us sitting in here, there's some good in you. Now, now I could, I could, I could take two or three of you, ran on the side of the building and, and pull out some bad. And ain't got to take you on the side of the building. I can say the wrong thing, send it right here, and the bad will come out of the most of it. But instead of looking for the bad, we ought to be looking for the good. Instead of seeking how to find what's wrong with somebody, we ought to be seeking how to find how to help my brothers and sisters overcome the issues that they're having. Oh, I'm still in the construction zone. This is what God is doing with us. He's making us what we can be. We are such a wonderfully complex creature. We are all wonderfully made. We are all constructed different. 
It'd be bad. It'd be bad. It'd be a bad thing. I walked out of that office one Sunday morning, and I walked in there, and everybody looked like Sister Christina. I say, I, I see, I see a tall Christina. I see a short Christina. I see a fat Christina. I see a skinny Christina. Everybody in here look like Christina. I'm going to scratch my head and say, I'm in the wrong place. Turn around and look back here. Sister Weldon look like Christina. Sister Houston look like Christina. I'm going to say, I'm not going home. Yeah, I look in the mirror, I look like Christina. <coughs> but we are all uniquely constructed under God's image. God made all of us different. I'm in, I'm in, I, I'm, I got to go. You call, it laid, it, it, God laid on my heart. Since God made all of us different, why do we seek so hard to try to be somebody we are not? The best you that you can be is better than the best person you're trying to be. When God made you, you say you don't like the way you look. You're telling God, Lord, you made a mistake. You didn't do me right. Let me keep moving. Here in Ephesians chapter 2, Paul tells us we are his, his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before that we should walk in them. Everything God put in you, he put it there for a purpose. You want to know why some folk can sing? Some folk can't? Because God didn't equip them to be a singer. You want to know why some folks good at being an usher and some not? Everybody can't be a good doorkeeper. You, you don't want no doorkeeper at the door when people come in the door and they look at them and say, go sit down. You don't want nobody to be a doorkeeper that that the nasty attitude. You want somebody at the back door that got a smell on their face. Church don't need no deacon that don't want to serve. All right. All right. Ooh, that came back at me. Well, what God put in each one of us is unique. And what God put in you, it is not yet finished. You're not, you're not, you're not finished yet. You're not, you're not complete. Somebody said, I'm perfect. Well, let me tell you something. If you're perfect right now, ask God right now and get you out of here. If you're a perfect individual, tell God while I'm perfect, get me out of here. Because if you stay here any longer, you're going to not be perfect. God has a purpose for us to fulfill. Sometimes Christians have a tendency to look at people and judge them by themselves. You know a liar don't trust nobody because they know they lie. A woman that cheats on her husband don't trust no other woman. Let me get off of that one too. But God has put something in us for the purpose of maintaining a name for himself. For we are all created in his image. And in his likeness. Therefore, we ought to be telling God, work on me. Make me what I ought to be. Sometime when God start working construction in our body, it don't always 
feel good. Amen. For we are his workmanship. In other words, he's still working on my life. Sometimes we have to understand that life can throw us a curve. Amen. It's a sad, sad, sad day in life when you feel like everything ought to go your way all the time. I got to understand there are going to be some ups and there are going to be some downs. I got to understand that, amen, every round uh, goes higher and higher. I got to understand that uh, if God be for me, who then can be against me? I got to understand, uh, amen, every day is not going to be Sunday. I got to understand what David meant when David said, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. But I got to back up and listen to something that David said. Weeping may endure, but for night, but joy coming in the morning. Yes, so while I'm on the, this uh, construction job, uh, a construction pattern that the Lord has me on, uh, I got to be uh, as a man. Uh, the Bible said uh, the potter went down uh, to the potter's house. Uh, that's what Jeremiah said. Uh, and I saw the, the potter work a work uh, on the wheel. Uh, yes. Uh, and he was able to recognize uh, when he was making uh, a vessel, uh, that vessel was marred uh, in his hand. Uh, Sometimes when God got you in his hand, uh, he got to mold you uh, and make you uh, what you ought to be. Uh, yes, uh, the scripture said, uh, when he saw the part of and working on the wheel, uh, he had to take that part of uh, and put it back down uh, and start all over again. Uh, every now and then, uh, God uh, has to start uh, all over again with us. Uh, yes, uh, anybody here uh, always fail sometime. Uh, I already been through that uh, one time. Uh, why uh, am I having to go through it again? Uh, yes, sometimes God take us back through. Uh, the same thing uh, because we fell in uh, the first time. Uh, anybody here ever take a lesson, uh, took a test in school, uh, and you didn't pass the test? Uh, I don't know what the grading average is now, uh, but the grading average used to be uh, anything below uh, 16 uh, was an F. Uh, 16 uh, to 70 uh, was a D. Uh, 70 to 80 uh, was a C, I believe, uh, a B, I believe, whichever one. Uh, in other words, in order to make an A, uh, you have to have 90 uh, or above. Uh, but when God uh, is working on you, uh, 99 uh, and a half uh, just won't do. Uh, yes. Uh, so when the part of song uh, that the vessel was born, uh, he had to put the vessel uh, back on the wheel uh, and work on it uh, all over again. Uh, but I also read uh, in the New Testament uh, where Paul uh, was on the part of wheel uh, himself. Uh, and I heard Paul say, uh, when I desire to do good, uh, evil uh, was always present. Uh, and I heard Paul say uh, that that I would do, uh, I do it not, uh, and that I shouldn't be doing, uh, I find myself doing. Uh, why? Uh, because I'm under uh, construction uh, yes uh, and when 
you are under construction every now and then things will fall out of place yes when you under construction every once in a while you gotta understand that things may get a little chaotic in your life yes when you under construction you'll find yourself hearing things you really didn't hear anybody know what I'm talking about when you under construction the Satan has a way of magnifying things and making things look like what it really is not y'all don't hear me when you under construction what has taken place in your life God is pulling out what don't need to be there and putting in what need to be there yes two years back we had come on somebody we had a I can't even think of his name now. Deacon Washington, what's your brother's name? I can't think of his name. We had him to come down. Michael, we had Michael to come down to Powder Springs and lay some wood, some, what kind of, not linoleum, but hardwood floors in the den. And sometimes when you're getting ready to change things around, you got to move things around to get it where you need it to be. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but you cannot put down a, a brand new floor uh, and don't move the sofa uh, you cannot put down uh, a brand new floor uh, and don't sweep the floor uh, can uh, in that case uh, first natural uh, and then spiritual uh, here's what the William brother said uh, the William brother said uh, sweep around uh, your own front door uh, before you try uh, to sweep around mine uh, y'all don't hear me uh, sometime God uh, gotta move some things around uh, in your line uh, to put in uh, what you need to put in uh, yeah a lot of times uh, when you're trying uh, to fix your house up uh, and you put in new uh, floors, uh, paint new walls, uh, put up new curtains uh, and put the same old furniture uh, back in there. It just don't look right. So you say to yourself, I got brand new walls. I got brand new floors. I got brand new curtains. I can't use the same old furniture. What I'm trying to say, when God start working on you, some things uh, we want to hold on to uh, but God said uh, lay aside uh, every weight uh, and uh, the sin uh, that do it so easily uh, besets you uh, and run uh, disarrays with patience uh, don't try to hang on uh, to dead weight uh, y'all don't hear me uh, when the line uh, when 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 the line uh, when 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 uh, can I do it again when 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 uh, when the line uh, start working on you uh, you gotta tell God uh, if this need to come out uh, Pull it out, uh, mold me, uh, make me uh, what you have me to be. Uh, I'm just a workman uh, in God's vineyard. Uh, yeah, uh, and sometimes, sometimes uh, you're riding through the neighborhood uh, and you see uh, new construction uh, being built uh, in our own neighborhood uh, and you say to yourself uh, why uh, will somebody uh, 
build a nice house uh, in this neighborhood. Uh, and you look at them uh, and said, I wouldn't put that nice house uh, over in this area. Uh, I put it over there. Uh, that's the same way uh, people look at you uh, and me. Uh, when God uh, start working on you, uh, somebody say, uh, why uh, are you doing what you're doing? Uh, why uh, are you saying what you're saying? Uh, why don't you uh, move over here uh, and move over there? Uh, but I hear God saying, uh, stand ye still uh, and see uh, the salvation of the Lord. Uh, yeah, uh, here's what he said. Uh, to, uh, uh, he said, uh, the battle uh, is not yours. Uh, it is uh, the Lord. Uh, and I got to go here. Uh, and I'm going to take my seat uh, in the presence of the Lord. Uh, when uh, God uh, started working on you. Uh, get ready, get ready. Uh, a storm is coming. Uh, yeah. Uh, when, when, when. Uh, when the lawn uh, start picking you up, uh, get ready, get ready. Uh, the storm is coming. Uh, yes, uh, but I come to tell you, uh, storms uh, don't last always. Uh, storms uh, don't last always. Uh, every now and then, uh, a storm will come. Uh, Blow away uh, the junk in your life. Uh, sometimes storm will come. Uh, blow away uh, lying in your life. Uh, sometimes storm will come. Uh, blow away uh, backbone in your life. Uh, sometimes storm come. Uh, blow away uh, everything. Uh, Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Paul. 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 And let me close here with Brother Paul. Brother Paul looked at the other apostles. He said, you guys think y'all been through something. I was shipwrecked. I was beaten, not just by the Roman soldiers, but I also was beaten by the Jews. Y'all think you going through something, but every storm you go through, it has a purpose for your life. So you need to tell God whatever you got for me. Fix me to go through it. Look at me, Jesus. Look at me, Jesus. Look at me, Jesus. Look at me, Jesus. Look, look, look. Look at me, Jesus. And here's what Paul said. Amen. When you're going to construction, Paul said, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are of good report, think on these things. And I heard Jesus tell me that he would never leave me. He would never forsake me. So I don't mind. I don't mind whatever I got to go through. Lord, walk with me. Lord, hold my hand. Lord, take me. Mold me. Make me. Cleanse me. Purify me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me in your hand, Lord. Tell your neighbor, I'm under construction. I'm under construction. So, since I'm under construction, don't mind the mess in me. Don't mind if I slip, if I slip up a little bit. I'm under construction. Don't mind me. 
If I don't say hello, I'm under construction. Don't mind me. If I don't call your name, I'm under construction. Don't mind me. If I'm not in church 24-7, I'm under construction. Don't mind me. Yes. And I was reading the other day, and I heard something that was so profound when I read it. You see, I'm a student of reading. And I found out that if you read, you can get educated. And I found something that says seven deadly things that destroy the church. And when I read them, I put them down and I wrote them down because I found out one of the main things uh, that destroys the body of Christ uh, is that spirit uh, of assumption. Uh, Y'all don't hear me uh, always assuming uh, things that's not a fact. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but while I'm under uh, the construction of the Lord, uh, don't assume uh, you know me because uh, I don't even know who I am uh, myself uh, except I know uh, I'm a child of God. I, I know I, I've been born again. I, I know I, I've been washed in the blood. I, I know I, I'm anointed blessed of God. Uh, so while the Lord uh, is working on me please 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 be patient with me the lord is not through with me yet but when he get through i shall come forth as pure gold somebody shot yes somebody shot yes somebody shot yes I can't help it, y'all. I got a message. I got a message this week that said, Reverend, Reverend, if you want to live a little longer, stop preaching so hard. I had to send him a message back, and I told him, I'm... <laughs> under construction and you ain't seen nothing yet amen because when the lord got you you're in his hand and you ain't got nothing to worry about can somebody raise your hand and say hold me jesus in your hand mold me jesus construct me you said let the same mind be in you that was also in christ jesus uh, and you know what Jesus said uh, amen on that day uh, he said nevertheless uh, not my will uh, but thy will be done uh, if you want the Lord uh, to take you uh, to higher heights uh, I'm trying to stop y'all uh, and deeper debts uh, tell God uh, take my mind uh, mold my mind uh, yes uh, Take my hand. Let me see the glory of God. Take my ears. And the Bible said, He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. Take my tongue. Let me speak those things that be edifying to the body of Christ. Take my heart. Help me to love my enemies. Help me to pray for them uh, that despite for you and me uh, take my hands uh, use my hands uh, to lay my hands uh, on the sick uh, yes uh, take these feet of mine uh, and let me to walk uh, in the pastures uh, of the Lord uh, help me to walk where you want me to walk uh, talk the way you want me to talk uh, love the way you want me to love uh, Speak the way you want me to speak. Uh, see the way you want me to see. Uh, hear the way you want me to hear. Uh, and think uh, the way you want me to think. Hallelujah.
Mm. I wish, I wish, I wish, I, I wish, I wish, I wish I could holler like some folk. But since I can't holler like some folk, since I tell you all I can do is say, woo, 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 woo. Can I get somebody to help me one time? Since I can't holler like some folk holler, the best I can do is say, whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Woo 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 woo. Stand into your feet. Hallelujah. 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 If you're here today, you're outside the ark of safety. You need to rededicate your life to Christ. This is your opportunity. You're looking for a church home. You're dissatisfied in your spirit. You need God to fix something for you. Raise your hand where you're standing. Say, here, my Lord. Take me. Mold me and make me. I done sung out, preached out. Yes. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Jeff, listen, this is why you need to come to him. He is able. He, the Lord is. We're taking a, we're going to take up a love offering by youth department. He's able, just now. Come on, come on, come on to Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come to Jesus. 
just now. Come on, come on, come on. You need to come to Jesus. Just now. He will heal you. He will heal you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. This is for the youth department. We do every third Sunday for the support of our youth department. And field Sunday. Okay. Thank you, sir. the Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap. Of Thank the Lord for the word. How many under construction? I know I am. Amen. Amen. How many enjoy the word? And put your hands together for the messenger. Amen. 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 Thank God.